Hello everyone, my name is Alicia Corley, and today I am here to give my analysis on the Netflix documentary, Chasing Coral. This documentary was released in 2017, and it helps us better understand our problems we are currently facing, focusing on the sea. More specifically, this project focuses on coral and the detrimental damages that the climate change has on it. The central thesis is exactly what I was talking about a little bit earlier. Uh, climate change is really killing our reefs very, very rapidly. Um, this documentary documented a lot of this, and it was very enlightening to see. Um, very emotional, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, but because it was so emotional, it kind of overwhelmed the purpose of the film. So I chose the evidence that I found the most recurrent, the most relevant, and the most strong in my personal opinion. The first piece of evidence that I have are these two visuals, and I would like you to take a look at these two pictures and tell me what you see. Are these corals healthy? The answer to that is no. What you're looking at here are two different responses that coral has to global warming. Starting on your right, we have a picture of something you're probably familiar with, which is coral bleaching. The second one is coral's version of sunblock or sunscreen, if you will. This process is called fluorescing. Every coral can bleach, but not every coral can be fluorescent. These processes might visibly look pretty, but it's a coral's cry for help as it does its best to go back to its normal state. In most cases, due to the temperatures rising, the coral always loses this battle. Continuing on with the theme of temperature, we have our next piece of evidence, which is scientific evidence, and we have uh, this image of coral, and we have a graph, and I will tell you what those mean. So the coral has its normal state, which is shown on the left part of the picture, and on the right part of the picture, you see it bleaching. Um, this starts around 2 degrees Celsius, warmer than the normal temperature of the water that the coral was living in. They actually tested this out in labs that they uh, discussed inside of the film, and they learned that the bleaching starts around this temperature. It may seem very small, but it's very, very big of an impact for the coral. And to your right, you can see a graph, and I will read that for you. Um, I will give you a minute to analyze it first, so, well, more like a second. So this actually started the bleaching phenomenon um, in the 1980s when it was first introduced. Another one was around 1998, and another major one was in 2010. Um, and if we continue this pattern of raising our temperatures, uh, there is a prediction that there will be another major wave of this phenomenon of bleaching. And if we continue that pattern, we will lose most of the world's coral very, very soon. Well, we're finishing up here. Get it? Finishing. Okay, sorry. Um, I would like to utilize this opportunity of distance to give some of my thoughts on the film. Um, like I said earlier, I wasn't that much of a fan because of all the emotional stuff versus the amount of data that wasn't very clear. Um, however... I feel like our world deserves a change and everyone should give this opportunity because there's no denying climate change and the images are very powerful, the data is very powerful and I feel like that's enough to help anyone turn their self around from being oblivious to uh, being a part of uh, the solution to our problems. So yeah, here are all my references and yes, I will see you soon and next time I'll try not to do as many puns. Bye.